sign these, you're on the ballot in every state. Presto, sign these, and you resign the vice presidency. I will define you as a maverick before the White House can utter the word traitor. In two weeks, you will be the phoenix rising from the ashes of the grand presidency. Hold on. There's something I need from you first. Your pledge of allegiance. To the flag. To me. Christian conservatives got you on the ballot. They will get you a podium on the debate stage, and then you will abandon them. <laughs> I could you never. swing to the center. You will have a change of heart. You will become pro-choice, or you won't win. That is not. And I'm afraid I cannot make you the first female president of the United States of America. I can shift other stances, gay rights, education. There's no point to any of this unless you become pro-choice. You cannot win women. And so you will lose, 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 unless you drop your allegiance to Jesus and pledge it to politics. Otherwise, there's zero point. Zero. Do you have any idea what you are asking me to do? I'm asking you to abandon your beliefs for the greater good. You are asking me to choose my career over the lives of the So it only sounds like I'm asking because I'm pretending like you have a choice. You cannot win unless you abandon your beliefs. So it's a simple yes or no. Can you do it? Yes. Do that. Loud and proud. I need to hear it. What is your stance on abortion? I'm... Um, I'm... No hesitation, full allegiance. Listen to me, Dan. Politics me. over God. What is your stance? I'm pro-choice. And why I... did you change? After consulting my pastor. No! After searching my conscience, I decided... I now believe that these decisions should be between a woman and her doctor, that I have no right to stand in the way of that choice of that relationship. Better! Good evening. Exciting times, President Langston. Exciting times. <laughs>